and a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's France, and they take on Tunisia. Well, thanks, Derek. These fans will be hoping for another good display today. They played really well in that opener. This should be an excellent game. And the match begins. Griezmann. Now, let's see what they can do here. Super tackle and they've won possession. Well, he's made the pass and it's for Antoine Griezmann. Well, no luck keeping possession. Moving forward effectively. Attention, Joao Barrero. Drega. Now, who can he play it to? Ali Malul. Oh, potential danger. Well, oh, they keep the ball moving. Teo Hernandez Griezmann so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection insufficient guile from that corner keeper's ball Benzema, Coman, Chouameni, passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well read to put an end to that attack. That is that for the first half here. With the club secretary, please note, Mr. Moon has left the building. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Griezmann. Benzema. Coman. Danger averted. Sleety. Aysa Laiduni. What can they do from here? Can he put them in front? Making sure nothing up could be. Now options are plenty. Wabi Hazri. Sassi. Aisa Laiduni. To jump in front. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Shuameni. 20 minutes to go in this one. Not the best clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. And the danger is averted. Ball Pogba. Tension building still level. They do pass the ball with authority. Textbook defending inside the box. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. 
And just look at their supporters. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Sassy. Well, there it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed at this one. Do you have your thoughts? Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their...